Hey guys, Sharpie here. I got a good one today. Here's that tablet from that garbage picking video. I'm going to take it apart and see if there's any good stuff in here. I know there's a bunch of gold in here. So right away we got a battery here. Uh, lithium battery. I don't know if they take these to be honest. I don't know if the yard takes these. But there is. So you got an SD card with some gold on it. Starting off. Or this is a SIM card. It wouldn't be it wouldn't be considered an SD card. This is just a SIM card. And luckily for me, I don't know how well you can see. There is just a bunch of tiny little screws in here. And they are Phillips. So I know I got some tiny screwdriver here. Somewhere. Here it is. Tiny, tiny little screwdriver. When you're doing electronics, you gotta have a tiny one. And these tiny screws I will save. And I do want to have a disclaimer first before anyone says anything. I did try to sell this as is for parts. Um, I placed it on Craigslist, the Facebook, um, the Facebook resale shop or whatever you call it, as well as um, as well as that let go shop. I don't do eBay yet because I'm not. I wouldn't. I wouldn't say I'm unfamiliar with it, but I'm kind of leery about uh, some of the fees. Um, I know a bunch of people make money doing that, um, including Uberism. But most of my work that I do is hobby based, and I don't find as much. So for me to put something like this out, it, it's like a once a once a month kind of thing, and with the fees that's attached, I wouldn't be making too much. So I'm not too worried about it. And actually, it looks like this thing has the ability to have two sims in it, which is kind of cool. So looks like the outside is could be stainless. Where's my magnet? Could be, could be plastic for all I know. Find something to take this back off. Of course, the uh, the tablets and the phones and stuff is probably the easiest way to get some gold material because right off the bat like I said you got gold on the battery gold on the sim card and uh, for those who do know about gold recovery know that you're gonna have to really stockpile this stuff up to um, get a decent amount and as unfortunate as that is um, it is easy to, to stack up though depending on how you obtain scrap. Um, I know a lot of people do they get familiar with uh, restaurants and hotels and uh, certain businesses that have to upgrade their systems every so often. For example, um, hotels may have to upgrade um, TVs, stuff like that. So they just get rid of their TVs in bulk and right away the first card that we see and underneath this may also be something too but the first two cards um, they're gold plated here and a bunch of gold plating as well as pins um, and stuff for SIM card stuff like that so what I do for gold recovery is I save all my boards 
I probably I have two milk cartons almost full or pretty full of uh, some gold bearing material but I'm not sure if I'm there yet because with the acids and some of the time that takes doing um, you really have to be all in in uh, getting your time right because I don't want to just start into it and lose money in the um, acids stuff like that here's the first board a little bit of wire first board bunch of gold so everyone knows that tablets and phones are good for gold um, depending on if you actually do go for gold in my experience chemistry wise it's going to be easier to refine silver because it just uh, it just takes a less amount of acid and it's really only a two to three step process if you do it correctly and if you kind of know what you're doing chemical wise um, if you have some real um, tarnished material or um, impure material you're going to lose some of that stuff here's the screen here kind of weird seeing it from the inside now there is some stuff on here that looks like it's gold Yep, a little, little chip. I don't know if it's worth my time in uh, taking most of this off. Too much I do it anyway. Just got a gold band here. Most likely there's going to be the gold bond wire. It's going to go all the way through here, but just going to have the black insulation. So save the whole thing. Don't just snip it. Same thing here with the. Here's the screen. You got your gold bonding wire here. Um, most of the time if you just when you're trying to recover gold from um, materials like this you would just take some of the stuff like the chips and you would throw them in a heat throw them in a bunch of heat and uh, get rid of the plastics and stuff like that steel there's a little bit of steel plate on here. Uh, like I said, I don't take back steel. This may also be aluminum. It may be aluminum. So yeah, this is aluminum. This would be dirty aluminum. And then you got some sheets and stuff like that. Sometimes you might find some silver on the back of these, but I don't believe I have any here. So, here's pretty much the tablet right here. Tiny bit of aluminum. We're we'll figuring on the gold here. Gold bond wire. Of course, if I was to refine this now, I'd get literally nothing. Pretty much. More go go uh, bonding wire. You have gold here. The plate, the board is gold. Behind this is going to be some gold. Behind this, you're going to have some gold pins. More gold bonding wire. So what I do is I just keep it like this. And then with the battery, you got a little bit of gold here. But these batteries aren't worth anything in the scrapyard. They won't take the lithium batteries. They only want the lead acid batteries. So, um, scrap wise, you're not going to get too much from the scrapyard. You're going to get an electronics price. But if you store... Um, boards and stuff for gold recovery such as I am here over time you will have a large amount or a decent amount um, for when you do gold recovery I think for gold recovery I'm going to send mine out and get the gold back but I also have some uh, small stuff in this container here 
So, yeah, there's a bunch of gold in these, so save as much as you can up. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video. If you did, please leave me a like. If you're interested in gold and gold gold bearing material, I got some other uh, videos that relate to that.